Hey there. I was contacted by Carl. Carl from Morgan Esquire. Okay? Morgan Esquire. He currently has an Etsy shop and as I understand it is in the process of launching his own website. But right now as I'm filming this, this is March 2019, he has his Etsy shop. And Carl said, I am a leather worker, I create leather products, would you like to check them out? I said, Carl, hashtag boom, let's do this. I did not actually say that, but I could have. And I was chatting a bit with Carl and he said he got into leather working because he bought a cheap leather pen pouch uh, that turned out to be pleather or you know plastic leather. And he thought to himself, you know what? I can do this a lot better. And he was not kidding. Now what I find particularly interesting is that Carl is actually self-taught. He he learned his, his leather working skills through YouTube and then I suppose kind of informally apprenticed with the, the person whose videos he watched. Now, as we all know, YouTube videos are incredibly useful. So I can see how uh, one could learn some stuff through YouTube, but I think often to really learn a skill you may have to proceed a little bit beyond that, beyond the videos and clearly uh, Carl did that by by sort of apprenticing, and again, that's very, I mean, very informal. That's my term, not his, but apprenticing to to this person, whose videos he watched. And I think the end result is very, very nice. Now, what I found particularly nice to read is that Carl's maternal great grandfather, I think he said, great grandfather, actually was a leather worker who made saddles. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, country roads take me home. That's the association I have with saddle makers, but he's actually in the UK, not in West Virginia. Having said that, I am going to review three of his products here. That is what he calls the Morganizer, which I think is a fantastic pun, actually. Sort of an organizer company called Morgan Esquire. Morganizer makes sense, plus two pen cases, because he also does pen cases. Clearly, I thought of you all, because I think this will be of interest to many pen users. Pen case and a notebook cover, that's his Morganizer. So, let's not waste any more time, let's get the show on the road, and I do expect people to take my song from just now, somehow <laughs> manipulate that, and create something else out of that. Hashtag SBRE Brown, please tag me in uh, Instagram or whatever, and uh, hallelujah. Let's get started. Okay, so let's look at Carl's products. The, the biggest uh, product, the, the, with the, the with the largest number of features is the Morganizer, which barely fits in my camera's uh, angle, the view, so I have to fill around a little bit with this. I have stuffed two notebooks into it, and it has these, neither of these were completely adequate notebooks, so you have to bear with me. So what do we have? We have beautiful leather. I really, really like this color. It's a very nice warm brown. This is what I personally think of when I think of a horse as saddle. The only problem is I don't know anything about horses and I've been on a horse once in my life so I may be completely off but this is my association with a horse as saddle. We have this nice elastic loop with a little, I don't know what you would call this, it's not a toggle but some sort of protective uh, leather thing which will help you grab hold of it and loop it around the closure which I think is a very nice, nice a bit of eye for detail. The edges, I don't know how you can see this, but they have been treated. I always forget what you call this. Is, do you call that burnished? In any case, they've been treated, so this is not raw leather. It's actually done very nicely. Then here in the back, you have this elastic loop coming out of it, and you see another loop here and there. I'll come back to those. Uh, two notebooks in it. There's the flap. I'm going to open this. Now I know, again, I know that this barely fits in my camera's uh, uh, point of view, so to speak, so please bear with me. This flap opens, and this flap opens. Now, on this side, let's start on the left. You have three slots for 
business cards, credit cards, etc. And I have to say, I rather like this. Again, very smooth, well treated. Again, the edges have been um, treated, so that, that works very well. Here you have a slot for paperwork, etc. And this case is A5 sized. And that is about $155. That is Canadian. I was an Etsy shop and it automatically converted to Canadian. So I'm not giving you US dollars, I'm giving you Canadian dollars, okay? It's 155 in A5 size, it's 136 Canadian in A6 size, so you can get a slightly smaller version of it as well if you want. Now, this has this this organizer has two of these elastic loops. If you've ever used, say, a Midori Traveler's Notebook, you know how this game works. You have this this nice elastic band. You take a soft cover, flex cover notebook. In this case, I have this Kunisawa notebook, which is actually quite thick. But I'm thinking something like a, a I don't know, a, a say a, a, a field notes type, a very flat soft cover notebook. And you just loop it through, right? You put that elastic band in right here, and you have this, and you can put two of these in. Now, this again, this is this is a pretty big uh, notebook, but you can use this, right? So you could do this. I could probably fit in another one of these. Again, this is Kunizawa, but it, it really doesn't matter. It is more floppy notebook. You could probably put another one and still have this thing closed, which is very nice. Now here, I think you can do a couple of things. So this this part was actually meant, this is a, a Mont Blanc notebook. This part, this side was actually meant to be used with a hardback notebook. I'm thinking of something like a Rodia notebook or a Leuchtturm 1917 uh, notebook, right? Which have hardbacks and which you can, uh, you take the back cover and you just slip it under this piece of leather and then you can use this open it up and write on it right now of course depending on how thick these notebooks are you may not be able to open this notebook very conveniently in this case you see it works very well right this is these are about the same thickness but once you get to the end of your hardback notebook you may start to deal with this drop off a little bit another thing of course you could do is forego this altogether do not put this notebook in and I'll have to fiddle there we go it's always WYSIWYG, right? What you see is what you get here. There is no editing or whatever, so I do this on the spot. You could, of course, put a secondary notebook in here. Oh, I'm destroying this very nice, very expensive Mont Blanc notebook. There you go. Now you have two of these notebooks in here, and you could leave this slot open to put in more paperwork or what have you, right? And this could also work. Now you can open this. You can open this, and that's it. And this is Aziza's, and it's very expensive, so I'm going to take this out and I'm going to pretend like nothing ever happened. Please don't tell her. So, there is that. Now, of course, with the one notebook removed, this becomes a little thinner, and you can close this, and it's, of course, also lighter because there's less paper in it. What do I like about this? What do I not like about this? I have to be fair, I'm very impressed by Carl's work. The leather is done very very nicely. He uses a vegetable tanning process uh, which is in his mind superior and one thing I really enjoyed is that he also said he hand stitches these using a traditional saddle stitch. Now, I particularly enjoyed how he described that. He said it's time-consuming but there is no comparison and I very much subscribe to that point of view. You either do it properly or you just don't do it. Right? And this is done properly. And you can feel that because this feels like a quality product. Everything feels solid. The corners are not sharp, they're nicely treated, the edges, the stitching is good. I can see how I would be able to use this thing for multiple years and not have any issues because it is a solid product. And I very much enjoy that. Now, I spend a lot of time thinking about things I did not like so much and I couldn't find a lot. The only thing I found was this. You, have, of course, have this little loopy thing. Now, it's pretty flat, you can kind of put it in the back there, and then you won't really feel it. But if you don't want to do that every time, and you just sort of let it flop around, then in theory it could end up here near the bottom, it could bunch up a little bit with this elastic, and you will feel a little bit of a bump there as you write. But to be honest, because this is a flat piece of leather, you don't feel it that much, and I can't really say I've had terrible issues with it. And that really is the only thing I could come up with that I did not like about this product. 
and it's a very minor thing. And of course, if it bothers you to a disturbing degree, a pair of scissors, boom, problem gone. Now, of course, this will not necessarily stay closed anymore, but collateral damage. Okay, let's look at some of Carl's other products, and I won't have that much to say about these products. I can zoom in a bit, so you don't have to look at my tripod legs, beautiful legs as they are. This is one of Carl's two pen pouches, a considerably simpler product because it doesn't have all kinds of side slots, etc. Nice leather, in this case black, uh, black leather, classic, right? Same thing, edges have been treated, same hand stitching. Nice flap, nice leather, feels thick but not excessively thick. I've used some leather products that were either very coarse or were so thick that they were super, super heavy. This is a very nice balance, I would say. It fits normal size pens like this Leonardo without issue. And here I have a Visconti Opera Master. Fits perfectly as well and the flap still closes. So you can put in larger pens, you can put in smaller pens, and just because everyone is going to ask me, I know full well, here's an Amiki Emperor. You put it in, and the flap barely closes. Just stay shut, but I'm pretty sure, there we go. If I do that, it will snap open. So it's not meant for that. Now, let's be fair, it is not meant for this. This pouch is not meant for, for pens that size, and Carl knows that and Carl also offers a bespoke service, so if you want something but you can't find it, he can, or he may be able to make it. And that is what he did for me. He said, I'll send you another pen case, here you go. Notice how this one is quite a bit longer. He said, for this, I made this because I had your Denitrio Genkai in mind. Now, you can get this single pen pouch. Uh, the, uh, the two pen case uh, actually is uh, $77 Canadian again. And I, I uh, fear I have forgotten to write down the price of this, but, but bear in mind, this is basically a custom product, right? This is a bespoke product because he made this bigger than he usually would to see if my Genkai would fit. The Genkai, as you can see in this comparison, is a larger pen, okay? And he said, I hope it will fit. Well, Carl, let's see. Perfect. Hashtag boom. Works perfectly well. And again, this is that beautiful brown leather I absolutely love. Great stitching again. It is perfect. I absolutely love it. So, fantastic, beautiful, wonderful products. I have used a lot of leather products. I have seen a lot of leather products. I've seen a lot of leather products from people who were uh, self-taught and some of them are a little coarse and that is okay I cannot work leather at all so I'm not judging but some of their work is a little coarse this is not some of that work this in my mind is beautiful great leather products work very well and I cannot speak highly enough of these I really think this is a beautiful beautiful product well made clearly made by someone who cares about what it is he's doing uh, and down to the, the fine details, this this little uh, engraving of the uh, of the, the the logo. It's it's crisp. It's nicely done. I'm sorry. I'm just really enthusiastic about these products. So, Carl, a very very kind thank you for sending me these products. I will put a link to Carl's Etsy shop in the description of the video, as well as on my website. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.